Thai Bar Girls Hidden Secrets. Hi guys, Simon here. Now this is a really tricky one for me to do. Because um, I'm such a positive person. But the two years I was a bar manager in Patea, I did see a different, a hidden level of things that happened around um, the bar girls when they were not at work. Now, I'm going to, drugs, let's call it the D word, okay, illegal in Thailand, don't do it, don't get involved in it, you'll go to prison, you'll cost your fortune to get out, but that's the D word. In many countries around the world there is such a thing as corruption, I'm going to call that the C word. And that's all I'm going to say on the subject of those. When you take take the complete sex scene out of the window, throw it away, just strip back, let's say, Patea. The girls who work in the bars, when they are not working in the bars, they're eating, they're sleeping, and... They've got a bit of free time. Now, let's... I'm going to have to duck and move around this. It's a tricky trying to work this one out to tell you. So, some girls in the bars don't do very well one month, for instance. Let's say they've, they've got sick. They've picked an STD up. Something's happened and they haven't earned much money. Like in any country in the world, there are people that will loan you money with higher interest. And some of the girls find themselves having to borrow money. Maybe it's off other girls, maybe it's off a certain field of people. Now, how do I know about all this stuff? So, again, I've jumped slightly sideways. So I worked for a Thai lady and husband who owned lots of businesses. The lady had lots of businesses. Her cashier she put in the bars where I managed looked after all her other businesses. So this cashier lived in the room above me in the bar with her husband. Her husband was let's say a money collector. And then he had a couple of friends who helped him who the girls were really friendly with and these other couple of guys had lots of Thai girlfriends. Hmm. So Thai girls, they get, sometimes they need to borrow money. Sometimes, as you know, it's illegal to gamble in Thailand. There is card games. Oh, let's, let's say, well, yeah, there's card games. I think it's called high low. Um, when the Thai girls have been working in the bar for quite a while, they need some excitement, they need adrenaline, they need fun, and they sometimes turn to card games. Now, if they don't win, they could possibly borrow money from certain people, and maybe they won't win again then it gets them into a little bit of trouble. Then before you realise it, maybe they've gone down and start playing around with the D word. Um, and it can spiral out of control, all these things. And sometimes they'll find that where they've borrowed money from, a Thai person, man, will suddenly become their boyfriend. And will push them to do more and more things. And all this is, it's its there, right across a lot of countries, but it's, it's there. And it, it goes on behind the scenes, but it explains a lot of things, why the girls are like they are, why some of them are very hard and money orientated. The thing I noticed I started to be able to tell 
if a girl was having those sort of problems she'd start confiding in me as the manager because I was just a friend she'd start telling me personal things about her life and I thought okay is she just prodding me to see if I would offer some financial help some money maybe she was just prodding at first but then you you start getting a bit more information about their family and life but they wouldn't talk about those hidden things because they'd lose face and they won't do that suddenly up pops a customer and she'd be gone boom straight away because there's a chance of getting a bit of money and it might help with the other situations so there's hidden things in the background with some girls in Thailand they've just got themselves into a tricky position they don't want to lose face they don't want to give this you know this full story so those girls did start to stand out to me I could tell um, and then because of my link in the bar with the owner and there's this money lending thing going on I started seeing more and more of this and it seems to be right across the board so the a lot of Thai girls have these hidden secrets and it starts off with money problems not every Thai girl but starts off money problems and then they can go down the D word path can suddenly get a boyfriend suddenly get a man that is not the boyfriend but pushing that person around controlling them and all sorts of things happen under the scene behind the scene if you're on going on holiday you'll never see this sort of thing but it's similar in every country in the world with people that get into financial difficulties and it's handled in different ways but when there's such a thing as status and not wanting to lose face a girl will lie to you a tiger will completely lie to you and shoot off to get some money in one way or another and then come back and then open up again to you a bit more about just family things but they won't tell you what's happening behind the scenes it's only after a long time you start seeing it and understanding it so don't be surprised if you're starting a relationship with a Thai girl a bar girl and suddenly she just disappears for weeks on end she could be manipulated by other people things might be happening behind the scenes that she can't control a lot of people also talk about getting a Thai wife a bar girl good or bad I believe and I've got a friend that married a, a bar girl and she has changed slowly over the years started trusting him more become a good relationship so I think you can everyone's different every you're different the girls are different there is possibilities of pulling marrying a bar girl and changing them and them changing you it is possible um, oh so many things I saw firsthand it's hard I just don't want to be negative I think this these things with the money apply and the D word and the gambling it applies to everyone around the world it can apply to any country but as my channels about Thailand and I've seen other vloggers having a few problems with Thai girls I just thought that's more than likely would explain if you start becoming friendly the scoring system I did if you're starting to speak Thai and you're right down at number 10 I said I was at number 9 because I was the bar manager and the girls knew I never went with any girl and would not they weren't interested in me in that way weren't interested in me in that way they were happy to be my friend and tell me some things but they didn't want to lose face any time with me as I didn't want to lose face with them as well and uh, yeah so lots going on in the background you might know about it you might have seen parts of it you might know about it in village it even happens in villages and things happens everywhere hmm tricky to talk about so there's three vlogs I've done about bar girls I didn't really want to do vlogs I don't want to there's plenty of excellent Thailand vloggers who do the bar scene who do give you all their angles on the bar girls and things I didn't really want to do that on my channel 
I don't really want to start going around filming in the future when I'm living there. It's not my really cup of tea. I'm happily married and you know, there's a I think mine's slightly different my channel. These three vlogs, this as I say, slightly different. By all means put comments in. Um I hope I haven't upset anyone with um going down this path, but after seeing the one Thailand vlogger get sort of a little bit trampled on and then I watched some of his comments and things below um, I can understand everyone's angle it just sparked off these three these three vlogs so we'll be back to normal <laughs> the service resumes as normal in a few days once I finish this uh, taxi gold cup which is chaos absolute chaos and I've got a couple of good bits of footage already so I'll We'll be putting those up in about a week. Right. I'm off to bed before doing the night shift. <laughs> uh, please subscribe. Thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever. Criticism, good, bad. Fine. I, you know, I'll try and answer every comment if anyone... Chat. It might take me a couple of days, but I'm, I will uh, try and answer any comments and questions. And uh, I'll see you soon. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye for now.